But yeah, that's my Wichita story. I think about that every time I come to Wichita. I uh, I got to learn how diesel fuel gels up in the winter time. But uh, after we towed the truck to the Kenworth dealer, and they're like, "Yeah, all you got to do is turn the cruise on, press the button." I was like, "Ah!" So never made that mistake again. Lesson learned. All right, let me go check in. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, we made it over here to Edmond, Oklahoma. Turn right onto Northeast 248th Street East. We got about, it is 1040 right here right now. So hopefully we can get this unloaded within an hour. We need about two and a half hours to get up to uh, Edmond, Oklahoma. So all they gotta do is unload one. All we gotta do is go right around this corner right here. I've been here. It has been probably four or five years. And I know it looks like we're going to the gas station, but this is the road right here. It's a little place. Hopefully, I, I saw when we drove by, it didn't look like anything was, anybody was in there waiting. Um, we booked the load, I don't know if I told you guys, we booked the load on, um, for Monday out of Wisconsin, going over to Michigan. We're gonna deliver that on Wednesday in Michigan. We've already booked a reload out of Michigan going down to uh, Gent, Kentucky. That'll put us in Kentucky on Thursday. So that means we're uh, we're booked up all the way till Thursday of next week right now. So that is a good thing. All right, let's see here. This is the place. All right, y'all. And I am 99% sure that I gotta go to that dock right there, that little ramp right there. And back into that little ramp. I'm sure that's how to get it off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and ride around. The last time I was here, I didn't deliver any machinery. I delivered uh, the little pallets of uh, tar or whatever that stuff is. sitting right there that truck right there I could pull all the way up and get straight but I can't pull up and get straight so that's why I gotta wiggle it all right I think that's good enough Tongue 
sticking off the back. All right, let me uh, let me get this thing unloaded. Go check in and talk to you guys in a bit. All right, we got unloaded. Took about 30 minutes, so that went pretty good. So we got a little over two hours up to Wichita, Kansas. And it is going on 11.30 right here, quarter after 11. And we got till three o'clock, so we should be okay. Should be okay. Let me get out of here. We'll get a little bit of road footage going up to uh, Kansas. As I haven't been on this section of I-35 in a long time going up to Kansas. So uh, it probably looks like the rest of Oklahoma, but we'll take a look at it. But uh, we'll get a little bit of road footage heading up there and I'll see you when we get up to Wichita. Wichita very much but I do have a Wichita story a long time ago I had only been driving about a year so this was probably 1993 turn left onto North Hydraulic Avenue somewhere around there uh, I learned that diesel fuel gels up I was a company driver at the time and we had just bought a Hydraulic Avenue for three quarters of a mile. Hang on. We had just bought a, uh, we, I mean, my company that I was working for, I was a company driver at the time, had just bought a new little Kenworth. And uh, it was one of the first electronic engines um, that was operated by the computer. And now, you know, all, most of all these motors now are electronic motors. But, uh, my boss or me didn't know how to make the truck idle all night. And I ended up getting a motel room. And after 45 minutes, the truck would turn itself off. And uh, so for most of the night, I went out there and I would turn the truck, just tap the accelerator and the truck would keep running. Well, finally I went to bed. Anyway, the truck froze up, all the fuel diesel, diesel gelled up and uh, had to get the truck towed to a shop so it could thaw out. But anyway, that's my Wichita story. In a quarter mile, turn left on the East 37th Street North. Where this place is at? Let's see here. I 
thought it was right off this road right here. But, no, oh, I gotta make a left at this stop sign right here. Take the next left onto East 37th Street North, then turn right. So we got, uh, we got about four hours left of driving for today. And then, uh, so I'm not too sure where we're gonna go to when we're done here. But we'll figure it out. I gotta look at the map, figure out how to get over to, we're gonna go over to Kansas City, but I don't want to run the, next right. then you the will toll road. The destination. All right. To the right here. Let's see. No, that doesn't look right. Here we go. Here it is, right here. Here it is. Oh. All right. So it's uh, it's 1:30 here right now. So we did good. We did not have much room to spare. Oh, well, there's the dock right there. That says don't enter. Well, let me go check in first. Ah, I'm gonna drive in here. They don't want it. There's the dock right there. I'll go ahead and pull up over here. Get out of the gate so just in case somebody wants to come in. But yeah, that's my Wichita story. I think about that every time I come to Wichita. I, uh, I got to learn how diesel fuel gels up in the winter time. But uh, after we towed the truck to the Kenworth dealer, and they're like, yeah, all you gotta do is turn the cruise on, press the button. And I was like, ah, so never made that mistake again. Lesson learned. All right, let me go check in. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, it's the end of the day. Um, we did good. We're in Lobo, L-O-B-O. Kansas um, there is we're at a little truck stop the TA truck stop is across the street over there if it shows up there it goes we're at this little I always stay here at this little truck stop they got plenty of parking over here you can see right there but anyway we delivered two of our units today so all we got is this little mess right here going up to uh, Milwaukee for Monday morning from right here we got about 550 miles to uh, 550 miles over to uh, Milwaukee and then uh, once we get uh, done loading in Milwaukee we're going to go to uh, uh, Wausau, Wausau, Wisconsin and pick up going over to Michigan and then we're we'll delivered out on Wednesday and then Michigan down to uh, Kentucky for Thursday so we got our work cut out for us but uh, it has been a good day it's a good start to the trip here trucks looking good uh, clutch is doing good I uh, I had people ask about the clutch and uh, the cost of the clutch and the clutch to hold to get the, everything done was about twenty five hundred dollars and that included the clutch um, everything associated with the clutch and the input shaft on the transmission so I thought that was a pretty good deal everything's doing good hood no squeaky in the hood so fix that so doing good all right let's call it quits for today um, talk to you later thanks for watching bye